Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to use an NLP translation in order to translate your text in Business Central. So we will be using a REST API. Let us understand what is REST API first. Imagine that you wanted to order pizza. Okay. So what you will be doing, you will be using a restaurant's website. Okay. Imagine that you are using a restaurant's website. And when you place your order, you are actually using an API okay so what happens in this case the website in the client side okay that sends a request to the server so you are a client okay you are using what you are using your browser okay uh, you are using a, a laptop or a mobile phone or whatever it may be you are using a browser anyhow you are using a URL okay so this we call it as a client okay you are using a url and you are sending some request for example you are ordering a pizza so what happens this is sending a request to the pizza server okay sending a request to what pizza server the server then process the request and sends the response back to the client so you are placing uh, the pizza you are paying the money online so once it is paid it is going to the server and once your um, once your uh, order is confirmed it is sending a response back to you that your order is confirmed and we are processing the food so this is what a request okay request will be always sent from the client to the server the response will be sent back to the client okay so now what is happening is what this is what there comes the rest api okay so when you request something you are requesting something right so imagine that as i told you are a client okay and you are requesting something to the pizza server okay it's like a server so what is that what you are using is what you are using a get method okay and you are using an api and you are ordering the pizza and it has its own id okay it will be requested from a client side okay so this is the client's request to the server asking for the pizza for example if you need a pepperoni pizza okay so if you are uh, asking for a pepperoni pizza so it will be sent as a pepperoni and there will be a http client this is the get request okay this is what the get method which is used to uh, uh, which is used to retrieve the data from the url from the endpoint okay so now what uh, it will have is what it will usually send in a json format okay it usually sends in a json format for example there will be a http rec uh, will be there and the content type will be there and inside that what is the name of the pizza name of the pizza will be there and what are, if you have added any toppings so the toppings will be there okay and if you uh, if the price if there is a price the price will also be there and it is closed so this is how the data will be sent and get back okay so actually this is no like uh, this is what uh, I said to uh, showed you some name type and a JSON format probably so how it will be is what this is a servers respond to the client request okay so you have ordered these things this is what the price so this will be available within this time like that okay so this is the one of the main thing okay which you should understand what happens in the rest API so what is rest API rest R E S T R E est means representational state transfer okay it is a software architectural style for building web services that is api rest api means representational state transfer application programming interface okay so this uses a http request so what is http hypertext transfer protocol hypertext whatever the thing which you are transferring through the website that we call it as a hypertext transfer protocol to interact with the data resources over the web okay it usually always whenever you use your system um, uh, through internet okay so your system will be considered as a client that means you are considered as a client and to where you are sending the request this is considered as the server 
okay so don't uh, think that okay uh, if you uh, uh, for example if you are using uh, if you are trying to search uh, in the google okay you are here you are trying to search in the google okay so this is this uh, client request once if you enter google.com this request will be sent to the google server okay don't think that google is a cloud they are using a cloud based so that is that is a different uh, uh, ideology okay so that is a different concept we will discuss about that later so it will send a request to google server and in turn if it is available if you don't have an internet then probably you cannot get it if you have an internet you will get it so uh, and if the server is down they will be sending a response back to you based on the current situation so this is what happens in the rest api now i'm going to tell you what uh, i did okay i have already written the code and i have executed because it will take more time if i started writing the code in front of you so i'll just explain you the overall process okay first step is what you have to create a, a account in rapidapi.com so what is that rapid api in rapid api you will get lot and lot of apis okay which is you can try it for free so this is what the rapid api okay so here you can sign up you better you sign up with the same mail id which you are using it in your business central that will be fine or um yes so that is fine so i'm just going to show you uh, you have to just sign up okay if you haven't signed up so far please go and sign up just give your uh, um company mail id it's a simple step okay and once you sign up you can see a lot and lot of apis here so this is a public api if you click on public api you can see many apis here so okay this is what the covid 19 statistics everything so on the left side you can see various categories about the api however you can use use it and uh, in this video we are going to use the translation api that is what the nlp api okay so click on the top translation api so once if you click on the top translation api you will get lot and lot of translation api here like you have a google translate you have a, you can use anything okay i have just uh, tried with nlp translation which is given here so just uh, click on this nlp translation once you click here nlp translation you can see the complete thing like what is a get request response and all the thing along with the api key and everything okay so here you can see in the left side so this is where you can see if you want to get the data from the post if you want to uh, post json data translate so you can use it here and here is where your complete information about your api key will be available so if you just scroll down you can see this api key okay we are going to use this key and this api host in order to access this particular api okay and um, other than this if you want to try the code snippet example resources you can try it here okay this is how your get request will be sent to the client and how it looks like okay they are just telling you the uh, overview expand uh, example responses here so the first important step which you wanted to do is what you have to subscribe to this particular test so that you will be getting an authentication properly or else they will reject your authentication okay sorry they will reject your access if you wanted to access this you have to subscribe subscribe to this okay subscribe to text so what what is once if you give subscribe to test they will be giving you some plan don't worry you don't want to pay anything like just go with the basic subscription okay just give a basic subscription they'll be asking your card uh, card name and card number just give it um, but they will not charge anything here you can see that this is what the total due you can access today completely okay so this is a testing so don't worry about all these things and if you wanted to use this for your um, organization for any other project then you can go ahead with the pro and uh, ultra or mega so whatever you want you can go ahead with that okay so this is the very first thing the which i told you is what you have to create uh, you have to connect uh, connect in the yeah, rapid api okay if you want i can leave the uh, thing that is uh, leave the link to you okay so the first one is go to rapid api so rapid api and then in that you have to sign up 
okay better to sign up with the same uh, mail id and then subscribe so this is very very important subscribe to sub su subscribe to test okay you have to give this this is the first step i have did okay then the next one is what the second step is what you have to create a table okay in order to store these data okay i have created a simple table so the text original text and how it should be translated and in order to store this and in order to give some primary key i have given a translation code for this okay so i have i have created a table and the third one is i have created the page in order to uh, uh, in, to pro for the proper interface display on the screen and type and see how the results appear okay and <clears throat> uh, let me write it very clearly i'm sorry for this okay so the first one is what um yeah rapid api second one is what um, table create a table and third one is create a page for that and fourth one is i'll be writing a code unit for this okay you can even write this in the, as a procedure inside the page itself but it is a better um programming um ideology to in order to write every uh, logic in a separate code unit in order to do some changes which should not add, uh, we should not uh, uh, do any much changes in the page or table okay so i will be writing the code unit where i will call or i will use all these rest api things and everything yes got it so this is how the page looks like okay so now let us go and see um this is what the table okay so translates a simple table which i have created this is what the original text okay place some uh, request to the server okay so we need a http client okay so for that i have created a variable called a client and response message okay i need a request a request message so i am requesting something to them i wanted to check whether my request is properly sent so for that i have created a request request is my variable and this is the data type http request message is my data type okay and then uh, next one is the response okay so the client the server is sending me the response i just wanted to see what is the response message for that so this is what the http response message and i have to use the url because as i told you will be placing your request through an url so what is the url okay so i'll be using the url inside the text because it might be the combination of slash special characters everything so i'm going to use the url result header http headers okay and authentication key because i have to use the authentication key here okay because i'm calling the api in that case i have to use the key okay so from where we will be getting the key is what so uh, i'll be showing you here yes so you can see the difference okay so you can see the difference that before i have subscribed i haven't subscribed from this account because this is not the account which i have connected with the bc okay so before you subscribe you can see that there will be a button called subscribe to text test okay but if you open uh, if after subscribing to the test uh, in order to test it so you can see that uh, this message test endpoint okay only if this is a, like a test endpoint then you can access this particular thing okay now i'll show you like from where you can get the uh, api key okay from here you can get the api key and this is the ax rapid api host okay this two things are required and i have to access this url in order to get the data okay in order to uh, connect with this particular api okay nlp api so i have to use this uh, that is what the authentication key and the host key for that i have used a host key and what is the out url json object okay you know that because since you can see that how the example resources will be it will be in a json format and you can see that how this uh, you have to give so here you have to uh, assign this as a json object okay and uh, new json object i i'm going to assign a two uh, object and two token and a result text okay if you wanted to know the key terminologies of the json like the json object json token json array so you can simply type and see um, 
and if you just give here no json so you can see json array object token value if you want to know about that please leave a message i will tell you in a different video because even this will take some time to explain okay now so you have to declare all these things after declaring uh, all these variable you can uh, you can start your work so client the default request header so what are the request header you want you have to assign the client default request headers so this client is what my very Variable here, and once if you click and uh, leave a dot, you can see the default request header. This is a procedure which we are calling it. Okay, so uh, then authentication key. So this is the key which I have copied from here. Okay, if you go to the um, if you go to the schema. Um, sorry, if you go to the code snippet, you can copy this key. Okay, you have to copy this key and paste it here. Okay, the complete key inside a single quotes which I have given as a text and host key. You have to copy the host key. Now you have to uh, pass the header because here you have to send the authentication key and the host key. Okay, so header dot add x rapid API key. Once if you give add no, add is also a procedure here. You have to give the name and the value. Okay, don't type anything. Uh, simply like x uh, uh, rapid api or simply a key because this is the name which you have to take it from here okay copy it from here and use it there copy the name from here and use it there for the host key okay so uh, so use the uh, header for that header you have to add the authentication in a host key and this is the url okay so you will be getting the url from here so you can get the url from here copy and paste it okay this will translate only the data whatever is there okay this is the text hello world and this is to es so if you want to copy any data okay since still translate you can copy it from there and if you wanted to translate any data then you have to add this okay question mark text is equal to whatever it is it, you have to uh, translated okay so this is for url and request set request url you have to request you know the client from the client you have to get uh, send a request to the thing what are the thing which you are going to send is what the url this complete url and the input okay so input is what uh, i i am getting it from okay if it is not properly placed or if it is properly placed so if response dot is success status code if the uh, request is properly uh, placed then what it has to do okay it has to con it has to read the content so what is stored in the result you can see okay in the result it has to read the content and then here it was it has to get the translated text 
okay so it has to read from the result what is this translated text here you can see be very uh, very cautious while writing this because you have to use the same thing copy this and then paste it there okay this is what the exact thing which you are getting back okay translated text dot js token okay so here uh, exactly what you are getting back a translated message that is what you have to get and write to a new result okay it should write to the new result and uh, it has to get the ess uh, that is this is what the translation code which we have given and output should store this is the output here we have stored the output this should store the translated data as value as text okay and if i uh, this particular response request is not properly place, placed okay for example i am sending from client i am sending a request to the server okay he will be responding back if the server didn't receive the response properly then it will be sending me an error message okay so you have to get exactly what is the status code and what is the reason phrase so what is the uh, best example for this is what whenever you try to access some data into uh, in the website okay uh, sometimes if it is forbidden it's the payment okay it will tell you 402 payment required okay likewise okay or else it will tell you like 404 not found if the request resource is not found then it will show you 404 not found okay so uh, once if you uh, save this okay nothing much we have did this is what i have uh, uh, written the procedure and this is what the thing inside again i am telling if you wanted to know about what is a json token what is the object what is an array what is the value so we will just discuss later uh, in a, another separate video because anyhow it takes a, a more it takes more time okay so this is how uh, in the table i am writing the trigger in the table in, in the original text so what should happen once i enter the original text it should validate and it should call the a, a code in it which i have created okay so i am just creating a variable and storing the api translate code in it into api call and i am calling the api call procedure which i have written here this is the api call procedure and i am passing the original text this original text will be passed uh, in the first thing okay will be passed in the in passed for the input and the translated text will be uh, uh, will be the output okay so uh, this is how it works and it will do and uh, you can find the thing so this basic trigger i have did in the table okay let us see how it is executing i am clicking new okay so i'm giving a translation code here i'm going to type the data welcome to sorry to learn dc and if i click tab if i click tab see what you're getting is what this is what the message what is this http nlp translation v1 translate text is equal to welcome to learn bc and this uh, this percentage 20 percentage 20 these are all the spaces which i have left here okay so this is what the exact message which i wanted so i have written it here uh, in the code unit that this is the message out url once you place the request what it should come okay so i need this is the complete um uh, complete url so i need the url first okay and then what is the input and that that is what coming up here okay this is the http uh, and uh, it is showing your url your text to es and if you click okay you can see here it is translated to es okay so this is how the uh, call external calls to the api if you wanted to try out any other specific api please try in a in the same manner uh, you can use you can try with the different apis as well but the important thing which you definitely need is what the authentication key the host key and the json token because since you can see that uh, these uh, uh, this is in a json format okay so you should give the proper uh, uh you sh it should give the you should give the proper api key and everything in a uh, correct uh, in a proper manner okay so this is how this works 
um hope you all understand what is the logic what is the concept behind it so if you uh, wanted to know about the json uh, all about the json how it exactly and what is this json why we are using json everything please leave your comment i'll be definitely helping you out so in the next uh, video i'm probably i'll be explaining about what are the various important key points that is a key terms and what are these things like a http request get request all these things okay like a translate post get everything i'll be discussing thank you take care bye bye